There's a great quote, and so some of you may be thinking, there's really no such thing as eternal time. What is he talking about? You know, we're all just here, we have choices that we make, and there's nothing else out there making these choices for us. Listen to this. Mark Twain had a wonderful quote one time. He said, it ain't what you don't know that gets you into trouble. It's what you know for sure that just ain't so. <laughs> And there's a wonderful poem that I brought here with me, and I want to share it with you because it really reinforces and brings all of this home. It's called The Cookie Thief. A woman was waiting at an airport one night with several long hours before her flight. She hunted for a book in the airport shops. She bought a bag of cookies and found a place to drop. She was engrossed in her book but happened to see that the man sitting beside her, as bold as could be, grabbed a cookie or two from the bag in between, which she tried to ignore to avoid a scene. So she munched the cookies and watched the clock as the gutsy cookie thief diminished her stock. She was getting more irritated as the minutes ticked by, thinking, if I wasn't so nice, I'd blacken his eye. With each cookie she took, he took one, too. And when only one was left, she wondered what he'd do. And with a smile on his face and a nervous laugh, he took the last cookie <laughs> and broke it in half. He offered her half as he ate the other. And she snatched it from him and thought, oh, brother, this guy has some nerve and he's also rude. Why well, didn't even show any gratitude? She had never known when she had been so galled and sighed with relief when her flight was called. She gathered her belonging, she headed to the gate, and refused to look back at the thieving ingrate. She boarded the plane, sank in her seat. Then she sought her book, which was almost complete. As she reached into her baggage, she gasped with surprise. There was her bag of cookies in front of her eyes. <laughs> If mine are here, she moaned with despair, then the others were his, and he tried to share. Too late to apologize, she realized with grief that she was the rude one, the ingrate, the thief. You have to really be careful.